Welcome to our introduction about working with projects in Autodesk Inventor. Since there's quite a bit of material to cover regarding this important topic, I've split it up into a few videos. In this lesson, we're going to learn what a project is and what it's for. Then we'll learn how to create a new project and work with the project editor to edit a project. As you recall from our previous lesson on file types, a project file has extension .ipj. Basically, a project file is a text file in XML format with this IPJ extension. The file specifies the paths to the folders containing files used in the project. Project files are used to maintain references between files. A project defines the locations of all files within a project, including where design data are stored, the location of templates, library and content center paths, where you edit files, how many versions of a file are retained when you save a file, how to name your files, where to store imported components, and much more. Basically, a project file is like a filing cabinet for your work, keeping all your documents well organized and easy to locate. This way of organizing your design product into many files that are linked is what allows your work to be edited so quickly. Otherwise, files would be enormous and pretty cumbersome to manipulate. Some protocols to understand. You can only have one active project at a time. The active project is marked with a check mark. You must have an active project. You can't get around the project system in Inventor. You can't switch project when a file is open. Inventor provides us with this default project in case you don't set up your own, and that is currently our default project. You can't modify your projects when you've got files open. And finally, have you heard me say this yet? It's important to use unique, descriptive names for all your files so that they can be properly located and referenced. Our default project that Inventor comes installed with is not fully configured, so it's a good idea to set up a project when you begin working in Inventor. Otherwise, you might get some prompts from Inventor about files not being in the directory of the active project. You'll end up saving information in too many places and then unable to find it later on. There's two types of project files, the single user and a multi-user project, which is now called a Vault project. The Vault option here will only be available if you've installed Vault, which is Autodesk's file management utility. We're going to be talking more about Vault later in this section on data management. The single user project doesn't mean that only one person can access the project files. Rather, it means that there aren't file version controls in place to prevent two people from editing a file simultaneously. A single user project can be fully contained on your system or on a network too. It's basically the easiest type of project to configure, and many companies will stick with this. Let's click on New at the bottom of the project editor. The Inventor Project Wizard launches. We select a project type, New Single User, click Next. Now we enter a project name. I'll name it after the company that I'm doing work for, Matchstick Corp. And now we browse for a location on my hard drive. And then click OK. And let's click Next. On this third page of the wizard, we select the libraries that we'd like to map to this project. Left click to select and then press the arrow. This step is optional. Let's click Finish. And voila, here's our new project, Matchstick Corp. Some design teams are perfectly capable of managing their data using the single user project type. If you're in an environment where overriding one another's work is a possibility, you really ought to use Vault. Setting up projects might seem like a pain in the butt, but you don't need a new project for each job you're working on. In fact, you can keep all your work in one master project because then you've got easy reference and access to the content center and other mapped library files. Just make sure your Windows folder structure underneath that master project is well organized, for example, by client name, year, etc. And of course, unique descriptive names for all of your work. Let's click Done. There's a couple ways to access the project dialog window for creating and editing your projects. Go to the Get Started tab, Launch Panel, and click on the Projects tool. You can also access the same interface via the Application menu. Scroll down to Manage, and then scroll up to Projects, Create or Edit Projects. You can also access the Projects dialog window from other file definition windows. 
For example, let's click on New. New file window opens, showing us the name of the active project. Click the Project button, and let's cancel out of the window now. Cancel out of the new file window as well. Same thing when we launch the Open dialog window. We show the active project. Click on the Projects button to activate the Project dialog window. The list of projects in the top half of the Project dialog window includes all the projects that have a shortcut in the Project folder. This top pane is called the Select Project pane. If you've got a project on a drive or disk that you want to configure here, then just click Browse to open it. You'll only be able to open the Inventor native project file with extension .ipj. Inventor comes with some other project shortcuts here, samples, tutorial files. These are for use with their sample files and tutorials to help you practice along with the material. Our active project is marked with a check mark. If you've just installed Inventor, default will be checked. And the pane on the bottom half of the window will display the settings for the default project. To change projects, just select the project that you want to make active and click the Apply button. Let's select Matchstick Corp. Click Apply. You can also just double click on the project that you'd like to activate. Let's restore default. You're not able to change projects while you have files open, and that's because Inventor doesn't want you to mess with the file paths of your open document. You'll be able to edit any of the parameters of a non-active project, however. If you want to edit a project, just close your open Inventor files. If you need to clean up your shortcuts in the Select Project pane, you're able to delete some of these here, like samples and tutorials. However, you won't be able to delete the default project that Inventor comes installed with. That's because Inventor must work within the project system. If you haven't defined any projects, your work is going to be contained automatically within the default project. Let's right-click on any project shortcut. We can rename, browse and delete, and also launch a new project. We can't rename the default project or delete it, however. On the right side of this pane are the corresponding locations for each project, the path on your hard desk. The lower half of the window is called the Edit Projects pane. It shows file locations, libraries, options, and settings that specify where files are stored, how many versions of the file to retain when you save, and the project type. Double-click any bold heading to expand the branch, or click on the plus and minus signs to expand and collapse the branches. To make a change to any parameter, right-click and choose from its contextual menu. Unavailable options will be grayed out. And this concludes our first lesson about working with projects in Inventor. In our next lesson, we'll cover setting up a project in more detail.